there YouTube, HDC Junkie 16 here with you today with a review for you of the Intuos 4 graphics tablet from Wacom or Wacom. The, with the product, it does come with a grip pen, also known as a stylus, that has customizable pen rings here as well as nibs. Now the rings that come included, the black one's already installed on it, I changed it to white. Comes with grey and red as well. So it is a very comfortable, very grippy, as it is a rubberized matte finish there, but as you can see it is a huge lint catcher. So that is something to note, but it doesn't change the functionality or get in the way at all. Just an aesthetic thing. Also with it, you get a pen holder which holds the pen horizontally or vertically. And a lot of nibs. Now these are replacement nibs and also different nibs for different ones. Some are like a stroke nib when you're stroking with lots of brushes in Photoshop or other programs. Some are hard felt. One is actually spring loaded. I'll show you this one right here. So it's really what type of feedback you want on the pen when you push down is that's the one that you choose. It also comes with a nib extractor there. So it is a multifunctional pen holder. Optional with it, it does come with a mouse as well, which actually only works on the Intuos 4 itself. Now for me, I found that I hardly use this mouse, but it does also have two customizable buttons as well as the pen itself. The pen is really more intuitive and once you get the hang of things, it's much more fun to use and I really can't go back to a mouse after using this. So I set this customizable button on the top to be an option click in Photoshop, which as, you, as some of you may know, is to define the source point in Photoshop for like any, like the clone stamp tool or a spot healing brush or other stuff like that. The bottom one is my right click and you can also set it up to be a hover click. So you hover over it and click or you can set it up to be a click and tap. Now this, when I first used this, I noticed and I felt it, there was a huge learning curve for me. That's basically what it was. I really thought that you need to push all the way down and I, I basically treated this pen like a mouse. But you really need to know, I'm using a 27 inch screen. Every single corner on here is a corner on your screen and this basically replicates your screen. So think about seeing your screen here and think about your screen like paper and you move your hand around and uh, your pen moves, your mouse moves, but when you want to make a tap or operation you need to click down. It also has 8 express keys, 4 on the top, 4 on the bottom as well as a user defined touch ring. So I'll go ahead and show you what I have on there right now. I have a switch application here, which on the Mac it gives me a bar and I can see my current applications and push through, through this button to switch them. I also have a Wacom radial menu, which gives me access to cut copy paste commands, access to the internet, email and media. Precision mode works really well if you don't want to use a mouse and you can use your pen right here and it works very well and it makes everything more softer and more time. It's really precise when you're doing precision stuff in Photoshop or other programs. I also have the ink toggle as this does have handwriting recognition as well so I can scroll through that. This is a user defined touch ring with a toggle in the middle. What I have it set to is basically the default. My first one is auto scroll and zoom. Second one is cycle layers. Third one is my brush size and you can all control this by this ring here. It doesn't actually move but it's touch sensitive and the third one the fourth one is my canvas rotation. Next I have step backward and you can actually choose on this OLED screen to write whatever you want. The actual command behind that step backward is option, command and the letter Z. So you can set up the keystroke and you can also customize what you want it to say down there. You also have command F which is a frequent command I use in Photoshop. Deselect a new layer. So as you can see this graphics tablet is very customizable it's a very professional tablet. Now this is the medium one here. It's roughly around 9 by 6. The exact dimensions are on the Wacom website. And I also noticed that the active area actually extends probably about one millimeter to the side around the whole tablet. 
I don't know if that's just me, but when I go right here, the tablet still works up to there. So, I don't know if that's just mine or if that's just how all of them are. I really highly suggest this product. To me, I use it as a mouse replacement. It's also great when you're making images in Photoshop. It also has 2048 levels of pressure sensitivity, and if you don't know, that's amazing. Because when you're drawing in real life, you can draw push hard, push light. But when you're just drawing with a mouse on Photoshop, you don't have any sort of pressure sensitivity. It's just one click. So with this, it works really well, and you can really get some really nice images that you make on Photoshop, especially with different brushes and all that. I'll actually include a clip here that shows you as I'm pushing hard or if I'm pushing light, you can see the differences and how the color gets darker and lighter. This tablet is also ambidextrous and also very customizable as far as where the port ports go. If I actually flip this tablet over, it does not have a built-in accelerometer, but you can actually just orient that really easily in system preferences on the Mac or control panel on the PC, and you can orient it so it's the correct orientation for left-handed users. Now there's sort of customizability here. There's a lot of companies with any products they tend to put a USB port somewhere and right now it's a mini USB let's say if you wanted it on the left hand the lower part of here you could just slide this toggle right here and get to another one so depending on your setup if you don't have space they really give you a lot of customizable options it's also a very thin package as you can see it's a very thin tablet for what it does an improvement I'd like to f see is just because I see that this product is so capable they could just maybe add another USB port maybe a couple of USB ports and this could really be the media hub it's not needed but just add more value to the product it's also right now a great value for what you get but it could just be in a more market if they just add a couple of USB ports you can actually charge your devices with it and it would just be that much more better right now it has a glossy on the left hand side and a matte finish the active area is very smooth and it does not work with your hands but if you're looking for something like that you can go check out the Wacom Touch Bamboo Touch or the Bamboo Pen and & Touch and those provide finger gestures as well so this product works great in Photoshop works great in GIMP it also has an eraser on the back most programs do support this if it doesn't you can just click on the eraser tool and you can use the front or the back and start erasing. But Photoshop recognizes it right away. So I really highly suggest this product if you're interested. If you're on the fence about getting it, don't be. Go ahead and make the purchase. You won't be dissatisfied. Wacom also has great tech support. I had an issue with it at the beginning because there was a little bit of a learning curve for me. Because I, because this registers 0 0.39 inches away from the tablet and I really I was using it like a mouse and I kept moving back and forth and my cursor kept following it so think about it like pen on paper Wacom has great customer service if you have some issues you can go contact them and again it's a really nice product they also have their bamboo and Cintiq series so you can go check them out thanks for watching and their website again is Wacom.com